Hey everyone, this is Steve Chase here from Sequential Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can create projects inside QuickBooks Online. So the first step you're gonna do is if you have the correct version of QuickBooks that supports projects, you're gonna go turn it on by clicking on the gear, account and settings. It will be found in the advanced tab on the left. We just need to scroll down and you will see whether or not it's been turned on or off. So to turn it on, you're gonna just click somewhere there, turn up, check off, organize all job-related activity in one place. Let's go ahead and save that. Once that you see it's turned on, we can click out of here. Okay. Now the proper workflow would be you're going to first have a customer before you have a project. And then you want to track all income and expenses related to that project through the, its customer base. So let's go in and create our first customer. You would do that by clicking on sales, customers, new customer. Fill out as much information as you'd like. You can always come back to this. For this video, I'm just gonna put in the bare bones here on Eagles Wings LLC and save it. Okay. So we have our customer. Then um, from that point forward, you're going to create your project. You can do that by clicking on the projects button on the left. It will take you to um, the introductory of adding your first project so that way we can see all the pieces fit together. You can get a better picture of your project when you tag transactions to a project and then that will allow us to run reports associated with that. So I'm gonna click on add your first project. Come up with a project name. I'm gonna call it landscaping project makeover. And the customer that it's for is on Eagle's Wings. So from there, we have enough information to create that project. Okay, so that's important here. Now we have the pieces in place here. We need to then start thinking about adding invoices. And then from there, you'll be able to track your expenses, time, and other details such as estimates, so forth to that. Everything like that is going to allow us to really keep a good management on it. So let me start off with uh, linking uh, our first invoice associated with that. Now, typically, if you have an invoice, um, you would go to the plus symbol and turn on invoice, and that means that you're expecting to get paid from the customer at a later time. If the customer is gonna pay you on the spot, they give you a credit card and you've performed work and the, then they pay you, you can skip the invoice step completely and go straight to sales receipt, which means that work has been performed and you're being paid at the same time. Since in our case, we're gonna set up a $4,500 invoice and we expect to get paid later, receive payment, we will measure it through the invoice. Now, if you come into the invoice like I did, you've gotta make sure that you make it linked to the project, which will be a subcategory underneath the, of the project. So now that we have project on it, says choose a customer or a project. So notice that when we look at the list here, I'm gonna scroll down to On Eagle's Wings, And notice that on Eagle's Wings is the customer and the project that we are working with is underneath of it. So it's possible that a customer might have several projects in the lifetime of the customer and a project can be open and closed um, to have the list available here. So that's one way to record 
a project. I'm going to close out of here because I think an easier way, I'm not going to save that. An easier way is to find the, the project button. Once you're in the project, so notice that we're in projects, you would click through the project itself. Now, nah, let's see. What, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, notice that we have the ability to say that it's um, in progress or it could have been completed or canceled. So we want to keep it in progress. Over to the right, we have the add project. And so that's what we want to try right here, invoice. Now all that's going to do is that's just going to take us quickly to the invoice where if I show you what's happening here is you'll see that's the correct project there. So make sure you have the project selected, not the customer, if you want to track the project reports that come along with it. All right. So we're just going to do some design work for uh, 4,500. And we expect to be paid later. So we'll just send this out. If we had their email, we would have their email and hit save and send. In my case, I'm just going to hit save and then close out. Okay, awesome. Now let's go ahead and record an expense that's associated with that project. We're going to record a $500 expense of equipment rental. So I'm going to select get me out of the way here expense and we're going to pay a vendor all right the bill popped up here which is not related to no, I don't want to do that which is not related to what we're talking about here so let's get Uh, sorry guys, my, just trying to make myself smaller here. Oh, here's how I do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's try this one more time. Let's go back to projects, click through our project, add an expense. Uh, this time I'll try to find a vendor, a different one. And it came up with a preset from the prior time we did that. Uh, let me pick a, a fresh clean one. You know what, I'm gonna create a brand new vendor. How about that? Okay. Rental Corp. All right, they're brand new. Okay, and it's going to be Equipment Rental. And we'll make it $500. Now notice the billable checkbox right there associated with that and that we do have the correct project associated with it. Okay, save, $500 has been saved. Okay, great, I'm gonna close out of that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create time that's billable. So I'm gonna click on the time, add to project, then time. And we're gonna have an employee, we'll say John, who um, has five hours billables. The time is five. Now, if I wanted to do a start and enter time, I could click that and do when we log in, log out. But for this case, I'm just gonna put five hours and we have a $45 an hour billable. So that puts our summary at $225 for 
of activity that we need to associate back to on eagle's wings in a future uh, invoice so i'm going to hit save i'll close the t-sheets promo there now okay so let's go to the project profitability first to see how much money we're making or losing on this project All right, currently it has a profit and loss here report for our income being 4,500, top line number, okay? It automatically sees the equipment rental expense that was billable for $500 back to On Eagle's Wings, but it does not see the five hours of work that are billable at $45 an hour. So here's how we're going to be able to associate that back to the project to see our profitability should be lower than $4,000 in our net profit, net income. Okay, so let me go back to the project details and create a new invoice. And then I would do that under transactions. So you can see how you can get to your transactions there and that will show you what we currently have working here. Click invoice. All right, now that's the ticket right there. Now notice that um, the invoice shows up with the correct project. And then this little drawer shows over here to, to see that billable time. There's that five hours from that we had John do it. So it makes it very easy just to click add. Okay, and then I will see the landscaping hours. I could add a description here if I wanted to. You'll see a little tiny uh, link button there. It lets us know that this, this transaction here is associated with that billable time expense that we had here. Okay, in addition, we're also gonna add that $500 uh, rental as well. So I'm gonna click add. And that means uh, we've added that to it as well so here you see that five hundred dollars and for this particular item right here we would want to associate that um, however it is that we would link it up to it as far as the service goes and describe it here okay Okay, we're ready to click save. We had their email, we could send it to email, they could pay us with a credit card online or ACH, free ACH, if we had their checking account or routing number as well. All right, let's take a look at how we stand on an overview now of our project profitability here. Awesome. Okay, so it sees that we went up for our design income has gone up with the services included, that the invoice grew with that, and then it's showing us our equipment rental from, from that perspective there. Let's take a look at receiving payments now from On Eagle's Wings. If we click on the plus sign, receive payment. Now I recommend if you have QuickBooks online you should have quickbooks payment set up so that that can be tracked automatically but if they were to write us let's say a handwritten check we could come here and we'll check off both of these here for paying completions here so a grand total of five thousand two hundred twenty five dollars here Save and close there. And if we thought that all of our work was good to go, we could come over and close out the project by clicking on completed here. That's it. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little introductory on projects. And if you have any questions or want to drop me a line, feel free to connect with me at stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com. Thanks so much.